Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Lucas Monster, and this is our weekly news recap. The series on the channel where I just recap all of this week's news that didn't really make headlines, but is still worth talking about. Real quick though, before you get into the news, today is the last day to get all of the classic Luke Ness Monster merch. We actually get a brand new YouTube logo, which I personally think is amazing, but because of that, we are actually swapping out all of our old merch for new merch, and so today is the last day to get all of the classic OG Luke Ness Monster merch. So if you are interested, make sure you go check it out, link in the description, because today is the last day you can get it before it is gone forever. Now, if you guys did miss last week's news videos, we did actually upload two videos. The first one was talking about the Return of the Jedi 40th Anniversary Wave 2. Hasbro did officially reveal the images for these figures. They were previously pipelined, but we will go through the official reveals here real quick. We do actually have, in Wave 2, we have... Chewbacca with the collar looking great. I actually really do love this version of Chewbacca. And then the next figure is actually Poplu. Poplu was an exclusive to the Heroes of Endor 4 pack, but this is actually the first time he's getting a mainline release. I did kind of mention the weird card back in the last video, but uh, somebody actually in the comments came out and said that that is because of uh, that's what like the original Kenner figure looked like. So it's pretty interesting to, to see them kind of do a throwback to that. There's also a re-release of the Emperor. We just got him in the archive line as well. So this one's a little strange to me. But then, of course, there's also a re-release of Bib Fortuna. I'm all right with this one. I mean, he just came out, like, beginning of 2021. But I understand him being on card, so I'm all right with that. And then last up is a re-release of the Stormtrooper. I am really loving this one. I think Stormtroopers should be on shelves at all time. And so I'm really happy with the re-release of this. And plus, the card looks great as well. Now, moving into the second video that we did actually make last week, I'm not going to get super in-depth, but that video was about some figures showing up at Frank & Sons is a collectible store in California. Pretty cool. If you do want to see a lot of those reveals and different figures showing up in stores, go check out that video. But the big thing that that video was about was that we've uh, been getting a ton of reports that Black Series Wave 35 is showing up overseas. And kind of branching off of that, a uh, fellow Instagram user actually did post a ton of Black Series Wave 35 out of the box before we only had Luke this is the photo we had before we were kind of closely examining this but we do have a ton of better photos and not just Luke but the rest of the wave so actually starting off we're going to look at the new photos of Luke now uh, these are interesting I honestly don't think this helped me very much to, to be honest it's just kind of a different angle and I'm still not really sure how I feel about that Luke face um, it just doesn't really look like Luke Skywalker. I don't know. Something's a little off, but I think this is, again, one of those where I got to wait to I actually have it in hand to really judge it, but I still think that Luke is definitely going to be the most popular figure from this wave. Next up, we're going to be looking at Cal, and I think Cal's going to be the second most popular figure from this wave, but Cal's a very interesting figure here. At first, I didn't really like the outfit. It kind of reminded me of, like, cowboy kind of vibes, and I wasn't really digging it, but uh, it's grown on me. I think these out-of-box images really make me appreciate him more, and I'm definitely interested to see how it looks in-game, but uh, just recently, today, actually, Star Wars did post this image with a teaser of Cal's new outfit, and I gotta say, I'm really loving it, so I think... Uh, it's it's growing on me for sure, but I think I'm definitely going to have to like play the game to decide if I really want it or not. But uh, yeah, another interesting thing is this figure has a blaster. Uh, we've never played with a blaster in a, a Fallen Order game, so it's really it's going to be interesting to see how that game mechanic works, but I'm excited. Anyway, next up is Mon Mothma from Andor, and this is one that I'm actually pretty excited about. This one looks pretty good, and uh, I don't really want it for any of the Andor reasons. I just want it to go with my Return of the Jedi figures. Uh, Return of the Jedi, I believe, was the first movie that Mon Mothma actually showed up in. Like, I, I don't know if she was in A New Hope. I could be wrong. Um, but I distinctively remember her in Return of the Jedi, so I'd, uh, I'd love to get her with the rest of my Return of the Jedi figures. The next one is actually Din Djarin in his Stormtrooper disguise. Now, this is one that I don't necessarily care, care too much about. Um, I like Din Djarin, but I, I don't necessarily care too much about this version of the figure. I do think that this is a big upgrade for the face and uh, face mold and print and everything compared to the last version that we got. So, really excited about that. I think this might be one that, if you don't have a Din Djarin head sculpt yet, this is the way to get it. But I do really like Pedro Pascal's likeness on this figure. Next up, we actually do have the HK droid from the Mandalorian. 
Uh, this is one that, when it was first revealed, I thought was really dumb, and I wasn't really planning on picking up, but actually seeing it out of the box, I'm really loving this figure. I do think that the color scheme looks great with that, like, uh, maroon, cream, and gray colors. They're looking really good. I love how those go together. And that, plus the soft goods on it, I just really like how this looks. This reminds me of some kind of, like, uh, guild or mercenary droid, and I'm really liking it. So I think this might be one I have to pick up. Um, not necessarily just because like Ahsoka dueled them in the show. I think that's pretty cool, but that's not the main reason I want them. I just really like the figure. It looks like a good figure. So we'll have to see. I might not get it at full price, but if it goes on clearance, it's a definite pickup for me. And then the last three figures, we actually do have the Andor figures, and three of these I'm probably going to pass on. I, I just don't really think that they did a whole lot in the show i love the show the show is great i it's like 10 out of 10 i really love the show but the figures themselves uh, i don't know i mean luthan was cool i liked luthan but he didn't do a whole lot he's not like almost action figure worthy i think like he's just kind of a standing character like he did a lot like flying a ship and doing other stuff and talking and being a, a strategist str stra strategist but uh like action wise like he just kind of stands there and so like, I don't necessarily need his figure. Same with uh, the the girl. I don't necessarily remember her name. I don't necessarily care about her name. But she doesn't do much. And so I don't necessarily need her figure because I don't really have a place to put her. Andor is pretty cool. I do like Andor. But we only really saw him in this outfit for the first episode. And so because of that, I just don't really want this figure. If they make any other versions of Andor, I'll definitely pick him up. But this version is just not my favorite. Anyway, that is going to do it for today's video. Not a ton of news like I did say, but I did really want to cover those out-of-box figures. If you are new to the channel, make sure to go down and hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more news videos like these. And if you are not yet subscribed, make sure to consider it so you can get entered into the 8.5k giveaway. We are like 250 subs away, which is incredible. So thank you guys so much for all the recent support. If you do want to enter, make sure to hit that sub button so you don't miss out. Also, check out the merch. Today's the last day. And consider hitting that join button. It helps out the channel a lot. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.